What is going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about Active Directory maintenance. So a couple videos back, two or three videos, I don't know what it was. I made a video about uh, looking for what I called stale computer objects. So computer objects that hadn't authenticated to the domain in X number of days. So here we're going to do kind of the same thing with user accounts. Now in my situation I used one and I'm actually calling hours down here, but you can change that to add days and, you know, change the name of your variable or you can leave it the same. doesn't make a difference. But I'm using hours here because I just created these user pretty recently. So in order to make this work, I had to do it that way. So before we go ahead and run the script, let's look at a couple different ways you can do this. So here I'm getting all my 80 users. I'm filtering with star now in a production environment with hundreds and hundreds of users. You probably don't want to do that. You probably want to filter by a name or some other filtering mechanism, but you probably don't want to query all of your user objects in your domain. In my case, not a big deal. So here's my Active Directory. I have these three test users. If you haven't made the connection already, I'm a Steelers fan. So what we're going to do is look at these user objects, find out what was the last time they authenticated to the domain. We're going to bump that against our number of hours and anything that has it authenticated in the last hour we're going to move to this disabled users OU. We're also going to set a description on here so it says that I disabled this user on this day for inactivity for X number of days. That's purely optional but that's the way I do it. So our get80 user commandlet here we're searching through this OU, the test users OU. We're setting the dis disabled users OU to this. We're going to move all the disabled accounts. We're also going to kick this out to a log path uh, later on in the script. Uh, so here we're going to get the, the name, the last logon date. We're going to query those where the last logon date is less than or equal to the number of hours that you set up here in the variable. So in this case, at one. So anything that hasn't authenticated, or any user that hasn't authenticated in the last hour, we're going to catch that. We're also going to catch anything that has a loss, a last login date not equal to null. So if you have a new user objects that haven't authenticated to the domain yet, this script down here without the null or the last login date not equal to null is going to pick up those users. So we'll kind of demonstrate that here. So you can see the first user picked up Jerome Bettis authenticated uh, where's that? On May the 16th. The Heinz Ward has a null last logon date and so does James Harrison. So if I simply run it this way is going to disable all users that haven't logged in the last hour as well as any new user accounts that you created that have not logged in period. So that's why we add this last uh, condition here where the last login date is not equal to null. So if we run this it should bring back one and I only get the Jerome Bettis user. So let me get rid of all this. And here we're just setting that string of the commandlet string to a find user variable. We're going to export that to the log path, which is defined up here. You can obviously change that. We're going to set the AD user description to this. And obviously you can also change that to whatever meets your needs, or you can take it out altogether. Once it's disabled, we're going to again search for disabled user accounts in the OU that we were just working with. And we're going to move those disabled user objects to that disabled user OU. So, if all that made any sense, let's go ahead and run this thing. And it says it's completed. So we'll refresh the test user. Bettis is gone. Refresh disabled. And there's Bettis. And here you can see the description. I put the description in there. If you have more than one administrator, 
you may move it to a disabled user's OU and somebody come behind you and wonder why the account was disabled. That's why I set the description. So they know who did it, when they did it, and for what reason. So pretty simple script, but very useful for um, finding all those user objects that haven't authenticated for a while and at the very least dis disabling them and moving them to a, a separate OU to kind of keep things clean. So anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, send me down in the comments. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching the video. I do appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting the subscribe button. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down too. I'm cool with that too. Uh, if you have a question or video request, you can contact me on the social media links below. And again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.